What's good? Today I'm going to show you how to export your waves, um, well, your beat or your um, vocals. It's going to be a very, very quick one. So in front of me, I have a beat that I've made. All the elements are on the beat. I'm going to show you how to export from here. Um, let's get started. So I've got the beat. So we have all the elements here. I'm happy with everything. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to hit F6 and that's going to bring up your channel rack. You will then just click here and just make sure it's showing all. What you want to make sure is all the sounds that you're using have a number next to them. So you can see, well, with Arcade, that's fine because I know I bring sounds out of Arcade, but I don't actually have sounds playing out of Arcade. Um, you'll see three rain um, samples that I had I'm using rain window 11 so i mean, don't need to worry about the other two i remember that these were just um i tried them and i think the samples were too small or something but that doesn't matter you need to make sure that each one of these has a number next to them the way you're going to do that is by hitting f9 it's going to bring up your mixer right and your mixer is basically where all your sounds will go so if i want something say i want one of those window samples to be here right i'll hit f6 again go to the let's call it uh, rain window 10 and click on this little bar here and just make it go green you'll left click on it and it'll make it go green then you will go back to the mixer and go to an empty channel and then you'll hit control and l right that's one way of doing it of now when you go back to your channel rack you'll see that rain window 10 has the number 13 next to it i'm just going to turn that back to nothing another way that we can do it is here manually so if you go back to the um, the mixer you'll see that channel 14 is open then what you'll do is you'll hit f6 again and go back to your sample let's choose rain window 8 and i want cha chain i want rain window 8 to appear here on insert 14. so what i'll do is, is i'll just make it correspond so i'll click once and hold down and i'll drag up and you'll see just behind this window, you'll see that little green thing moving around. That's basically where I'm setting it to be. When it gets to 14, then I'm happy there. I'm happy that it's rooted to 14. So now whenever Rain Window 8 plays, which it won't because it's not in this beat, but whenever it would play, it would come out of here. The only issue with linking it like that is that you don't get the name of the, the instrument. Okay. Once you've made sure that all your instruments have a number next to them or all the ones that you want to export have a number next to them what you're going to do is you're then going to go over to your master bus right so these effects here on the beat i'm happy with like here we've got fab filter pro q um, over here we've got fruity convolver i'm happy with these mix effects over here on the master though everything needs to be turned off so we've got maximus we've got this is just um um z game editor it's where i put the um artwork but it's fine that one's fine doesn't need to be showing in any case it's not doing anything to the sound but you can just turn it off maximus is doing quite a lot it's on my master bus you can actually hear the difference <laughs> with it on and off right and we want basically we want um we want whoever's going to be mixing this track to have as much um control as they can now let's go over to the export process what you'll then do is you'll set your left and right locators at the top here you'll see where these numbers are what you're going to do is you're going to go to the furthermost point in your track and right click there it should look like that and if you right click and drag then it highlights it in red once it's highlighted in red then you know that you want your track this is a bit far for me i'm actually going to bring it back a little bit once you've got your locator set that red area is what's going to export now we've done we've done everything we need to we've made sure the master bus channels are off we've made sure everything is linked nicely to the mixer and then the last thing is we've set our locators left and right so now everything's good to go at this point you'll then go to file the beats names river so i'll go export wave file let's go to the desktop i will then create a new folder called river and inside river, I'm going to hit save. It'll then bring you to this window. 
just take a second you can even pause and just have a look at how i have my settings here um what we're going to want is we want wave to be selected that's the main main thing we want selected is wave and split mixer tracks what split mixer tracks is going to do is it's going to create individual tracks for each um element that you have in your mixer as well as a master um a master wave file so there's going to be a bunch of wave files that come out um, and then what you'll do is you'll hit um, start when you hit start it will start rendering and when it's done it will just dump everything in that folder that you've set where i would have set it as river once you've done that just go and make sure that all your files are there you can even open up a new session a new empty session on fl studio and bring all those files in just to make sure everything you needed to render rendered um, and that's the process peace